Notre Dame is headed down to Atlanta, and Georgia Tech is going to host them inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Okay, I saw that they're going to start hosting Georgia inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Why? Do we need more NFL stadiums in college football? No. You're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Anyway, all right, so Notre Dame is currently an 11.5-point favorite on the road here. This thing opened at eight and a half. It steamed up as soon as people started to realize that ah, Haynes King might not play. And even if he does play, he's not going to be 100%. We know that, right? So let's start diving into some of the stats. I mean, just the ESPN strength of record tells you that Notre Dame is number 15. Georgia Tech is number 45. My power ratings have Notre Dame at number six. They are incredibly efficient this year. And Georgia Tech is number 40. Now, I understand I saw the Northern Illinois game. I know. Everybody wants to write Notre Dame off. My number on this is Notre Dame minus 14. That is regardless of whether Haynes King plays or not. My spread based on the last four weeks of stats has Notre Dame by 31. That is an insane number. I will freely admit that this is crazy. However, looking at it, uh, Georgia Tech, their strength is passing the ball. Now, they don't do it very often, only 43% of the time, as you can see here. Uh, but Notre Dame's defense is number one in PPA allowed per pass, predicted points added per pass. Uh, passing success rate, Notre Dame's defense is number one. On the other side of the ball, obviously Buster Faulkner is going to be able to figure out some things as far as running the ball because they do have dudes there. They're number 37 in PPA per rush, number 17 in rushing success rate. That is where you can get at Notre Dame. Notre Dame is number 90 in rushing success rate allowed, but they're number 18. They don't allow explosives. So... You're going to have to stay ahead of the chains. You look at Standard Down's PPA, Standard Down Success, they're pretty even. Very, very tricky here, right? Standard Down Success Rate, number 16. Yeah, so that means that uh, you're going to have to be put in passing downs, which is, you know, second and long, third and long, second and more than five, uh, third and more than three. At that point, you got to pass the ball, and yeah. Now, what what really sucks for Georgia Tech is they had a quarterback that was number four in passing down success rate, number eight in passing down, sorry, and number 17 in passing downs PPA. So predicted points added per pass on those. All right, Notre Dame's offense. They can run the hell out of the ball. Number seven in PPA per rush. Only number 65 in rushing success rate, but they are number two in rushing explosiveness. Uh, offensive line yards, they're fairly decent. Georgia Tech has done a really good job. Tyler Santucci, the defensive coordinator that's come in from Georgia Tech, he taught these dudes how to tackle almost immediately, and they play sound, fundamental defense. The problem that I've got here is I think that Notre Dame is just better across the board. They've got more talent. They're just a significantly better football team overall. So uh, my total on this was 55, so I've got the total going over. I don't know if I would touch that without knowing about Haynes King. Uh, I would take Notre Dame to cover the 11.5 here. Uh, best number I could find was actually Notre Dame minus 11 on that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question... You can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.